cooey. <laughs> Uh, okay, today's all sorts of higgledy-piggledy. So I picked up two things today, a pack of Uno and a callus remover. There was some shampoo as well, but hindsight tells you that's a pretty weird cart. Trolley, shopping trolley, basket, whatever you want to call it. So today, let's come over here. So sizing. When you have a piece of work, you want to try and figure out anything to do with to-do list. A, you've got to go and buy something. You have to code a new website, whatever. You need to be able to understand how much time is that piece of work gonna take you? No, nope, yes, no, nope, yes, really, no threes. There we go. So the Fibonacci sequence. I should probably know something about that. The Fibonacci sequence is a sequence in which each number is the sum of the preceding two ones. Great. So as you're looking at my cards, we have a one, two, three, five, and an eight. I don't like that cards, I'm being open. Let's use this again. The next scene is me in the hospital. Where's my bloody pen now? I had it right here. Here it is. So you've got your points. One, two, three, four, f sorry. One, <laughs> one, two, three, five, eight. And let's say these are all your tasks. Get rid of you. This is going to be trippy for you, isn't it? Let's do it this way. One, two, three, five, eight. That's easier, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Now, these values do not equate to time. They equate to the difficulty of a task. So a one is a task that's super bloody easy. Charge ring, there's no complications in it, you know how to get it done. Then you have something like buy triple X. We're not talking about corn here, just something. I couldn't think of anything. Now I know that that entails me having to leave here, go to the store, pick it up, and then come back again. It's gonna take me quite a bit of time. It's an easy piece of work to do, but I'm gonna mark that as maybe a two, about an hour of work. Emailing Elon though, oh, that's gonna take, that's gonna take me a lot of time. I'm going with a three on that one. Make a TikTok? I, I, I didn't plan on going in order. That's going to be a five. That's like half a day's work at least. The next one is playing Uno. This wasn't my plan, but that can go as an eight. That can go as a whole day of work. Uno is going to come into play a bit later as well. Now let's say each of these items, we call them anchor stories. So once we know that charging your ring, charging your phone, charging a camera is always going to be a one, Every time you have that task to do, you can point it at a one. Now, the way I look at this is an eight is your whole day. You really don't want to be working on anything that's an eight. You'd like to break it down smaller. So like playing Uno, for example, what a bloody useless example. That's hard to break down, but let's say playing Uno consists of 10 games. Play five games of Uno. Play. So now instead of being a whole day effort, that comes down to a half day effort. Same with a TikTok. If you feel like spending half a day on something is too much, you can break that down into the planning stage and the shooting stage and the editing stage. Let's reset that one. The whole point of this system is to be able to understand that whatever tasks comes into your inbox to do, you can size it effectively and know round about how, lo how long and how much effort it's going to take you and what kind of challenge it might pose. So this is the system I use, and I have kind of a numbered system around it. A one is gonna take me between two and 10 minutes, two is gonna take me an hour, three is gonna take me two hours, five is gonna take me four hours, eight is gonna take me eight hours, the whole day. So that means now, when we come to the nice tasks that we've set ourselves for the day, we can set a point, a number next to them so we know how much we can do. Oh gosh, the flipping pen mark in the carpet. So the Uno TikTok, that's a five, that's half a day of work. The heart application, that's a two. And the effort points, that was a three. So if we look at this by hours, we've got four hours, half a day, one hour, and two hours. So all of this, seven hours of work. Of that system, because it gives me the opportunity to, or gives me the chance to understand what I have to get done in a day and how much I can actually fit in, because I was crammed too much in. So this here is the plan for the video we're gonna make for the Uno game. Let me give you some backstory. TikTok have this program called the TikTok Creator Marketplace Buzz, or TikTok Buzz Creator Marketplace, some stupid name. And every now and again, they have campaigns set up. So it's essentially, you get invited to the campaign that has been set up through TikTok. And in this case, for every thousand views, you get paid $15 and you get a bonus of $100 for the first 10 videos that qualify. Now I am among a number of creators that are invited to this, so it's really a get it in as quickly as possible. It's a couple of video requirements, but it's make the video however you want, as long as it fits in with what they, their requirements are. I like the idea of it, but what sucks about it is that they allow for, it gives the brand 
365 days of usage rights, which means that brand can now use that video and put money behind it to pump as an ad, which normally as a creator you would charge like between one and $3,000 for per 30 days. So you're missing out on a lot, but it's also an opportunity that you wouldn't have had if it hadn't landed in your inbox. And I thought I could make a fun video out of it. This is a perfect example of setting up something for the video that like, sorry, is staged, but I think adds a lot to the video. So hi dude, I over here. Good girl. Just taking a pack of Uno cards, spreading them out here as if like we have been playing a game at some point. Yeah? Yes, let's get on with the video. This is used breast milk, so let's see if it'll hydrate my dry cracking feet. My wife was at a wedding, so I was on baby duty this weekend. Do you mind if I use this leftover milk from the weekend? Of course, you can't waste liquid gold. Okay, <laughs> moisture test. I started using toe spacers, and I noticed how gammy my feet look. 28.8, .8. terrible. You can come down here. Quick little taste. So sweet. All right, let's get these bad boys soaking. Oh, baby. Oh, it's cold. Oh, yeah. Get them boys zipped up. Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. All right, since I can't really walk, let's fly the drone up and see what the wife's up to. What is she playing now? She's playing flipping Uno again. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've got my feet in breast milk. Ugh. She's super competitive, but I bet I can beat her. She sent me a link to download and play Uno Mobile, so now it was Manchild versus Mum. With my feet in breast milk and being beaten game after game, I was beginning to feel like a real schmuck. I just lost. Something's not right here. Making videos with the family involved is so difficult. Like, it's cool to do it with them, but it adds so much work. Like the baby screaming. <laughs> Come here, buddy. It's all right. Bro, were you cheating? You have to have been cheating. You were playing at the wedding all weekend? Oh my goodness, you've like doubled the score. I am gonna go and wash my f You leave that all there, please, Rooks? Bet you didn't know this is what you were getting today. Ow! I can't tell if they feel smooth or if they feel greasy. Are you going to have a nap? Did, it, did that just beep? What the hell? Dada. Yeah, Duda's scared now. Beep. Yeah, of the beep. And now we edit after I've cleaned up these cards. Good girl. Okay, Mexican street corn. Uh, so I bought these for a video a few days ago and he's noticed them. So we're gonna let him try. I've never had Mexican street corn. Let me check they're not spicy. Interesting flavor, mister. You wanna try one? Yes. Please, good boy. What do you think? What do you, what do you think? You showing it to the camera? Is that for me? Thank you. What do you think of the taste? Can we get, what aromas are you getting? Chips. Chips? Uh. Oh, okay. Let's put these away. You can have this one. You can have this one and the last one. You bought some chips for me to try? Oh, thank you. Good girl, Judah. Day has been long. I'm just, I've come to pop down after dinner because I'm done for the today. I did plan on using this callus remover today. So since, O'Keefe's Gorilla Glue and I are in conversation about a deal. I've got a massive crack on my foot, so I was gonna start using this, and then it's gonna be a non-partnered post. So to viewers, it like I've bought this, and it's gonna show as an authentic kind of partnership if and when it does happen, and I can get the ball rolling and show that I'm committed to doing it. So done for today. I'll try and make tomorrow a bit more of a creative video in here. I'm sorry it wasn't particularly. So, later. Oh. Uh, yeah, later. <laughs>